Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and for today's video, what I want to do is walk through one of my favorite formatting tricks in Tableau, which is how do you take something like a zero and uh, format it so that it's replaced with a dash or a space or some other character uh, in a text table just for the viewing pleasure of your users. So uh, you can see here on this title screen, I've actually already just put a little custom formatting um, block of code here. I'll drop that in the uh, description uh, below this video so that if you just wanna grab that and plug and play it, uh, then then you can do that. So let me go ahead and just walk you through kind of a quick, um, a quick situation here. So let's say that I'm managing a sales team and I want to know um, how much of each vehicle did my car salespeople sell in a given quarter. Um, so you can see that there's sometimes zero, right? Like Charlie has sold some Forerunners and some RAV4s, but no Highlanders or Land Cruisers. So let's say that anytime there's a zero, I just want it to show up as a dash. Um, that way it's just clear that there were no sales of that car by that person. Um, and uh, it doesn't take my kind of eyes away from the actual numbers that are there. So what I'm gonna do to get those zeros formatted as a character, like a dash, is I'm gonna go to uh, the field, number sold in my data pane. So I'll hit the drop down there, um, go to default, and what I wanna do is to change the default number format uh, for this field, number sold. Okay, so none of the sort of default number formats are going to help us out here. Like if I said, you know, number custom, what do I do, want to do with negative values? What do I want to do with display units? Like there's nothing here that says, what are you supposed to do with zeros? Um, but here is something that I think is nice about this. So I'm going to say, I don't want decimal places. Um, so, so actually Tableau is doing some custom number formatting behind the scenes, even when you just make selections like that, like when you say number custom with no decimal places, and that's actually represented here under custom. So if I go first to number custom, set it to zero decimal places, then flip forward to custom, this is going to be filled in with code for how Tableau is supposed to handle my values. So, um, just to kind of give you an idea like at a high level, what's going on here. Um, if you had like a prefix, like a dollar sign, that would actually show up right here at the beginning. Um, let me zoom back in there. Uh, there's also a little bit of information about how does it handle uh, positive or negative values. So if I want it to do something specific with zeros, what I would do at the end of this string is put another semicolon and then in quotes, whatever I want it to return. So if I do semicolon, quote, dash, quote, uh, watch these zero values when I hit OK. They're now all returned as dashes. So if I just wanted to right click and edit that, go to default properties, number format, that can be whatever I want, right? If I want to just see a space, cool, just put a space between quotes and then you won't see anything in those areas right? You, I mean, you can really do whatever you want here. You can even put text values. I've done things like that before where, you know, you'd say something like no, I don't know, whatever, no sales, right? Like you could even do something like that. That's a little bit clunky looking here, but it does work. Um, so something to keep in mind is that this is working for us because these are zeros that we're formatting as something else. Um, so to sh I'm going to show you the underlying data just so you can see this, right? Um, it changed it even. It, it was originally a zero in the Excel file, I, I promise you. So it would say like Highlander, Charlie, zero. If this record just didn't exist and I was like, oh, I want to replace that with, uh, you know, it's a null, but I want to put a zero in there. Like, it doesn't really work. Tableau works a lot better with taking an existing row of data and making an alteration to it. If that row of data does not exist, uh, you may actually need to do some trickery to create a placeholder row of data there that you can then uh, format. So I'll drop um, a blog post uh, below that kind of talks about how to use, uh, in this case, Tableau Prep to help you create those filler rows of data if you need that. But yeah, I hope this trick is helpful for you uh, as far as being able to do some custom formatting. It's one of my favorites. Uh, you know, I do think it is nice in a lot of cases to just, you know, have something like this. And then my focus is on, you know, I can just really quickly see, oh, Charlie had three vehicles that he sold some of and three vehicles that he did not.
So thanks for dropping in. Uh, check out this video on formatting. Uh, we really appreciate you following along and we're going to look forward to catching you on another video here next week.